So you're looking at this, got a handle to it, has a very strange, like almost a missing piece in the middle, and you have to be asking yourself, what the heck is that? Welcome to What the Heck Is That? The New Gadget Game Show. I'm the host of the show. My name is Dan Greenberg. You might recognize me from NBC's Today Show. I also do a bunch of gadget segments around the country at other TV stations all over the place. And to help figure out the identity of this mystery gadget, we have our panel of experts. Hi, panel. Take a look. There's our mystery product for this episode. And we're going to meet our panel. So first up, we have with us a tech expert and who's been uh, a writer on USA Today for a zillion years. He's joining us there. There's Jefferson Graham. Thank you. Now, Jefferson, what people don't know, he wrote a great book. Where's your book? If you have it handy. Uh, Come On Down, which is all about game shows. And because of that book, he has, get this, all these bucket list items. He has spun the big wheel. He has sat in the winner's circle at the pyramid. He's been the center square at Hollywood Squares. And he killed his category on Jeopardy. But he's never won a dime of money playing a game show. And guess what? We're going to keep that track record here. <laughs> You're not going to win a dime on the show. So be prepared. I'm letting you know. So you, you, you're in the right place for not winning any money. Well, at least so, let me win a gadget. Uh, we'll let you work something out with you. Uh, we, we'll look out which one you like, and we can send it up to you. I think the one you should get is the that's from last time, but we'll talk about that yeah, later. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Graham. We really appreciate it. Uh, Jefferson Graham, next we go on to Candy Samples. Hi, Candy. Hello, hello. She is the mistress of the microphone. She can whip up a mighty fine cornbread in a cast iron skillet. But Candy, I have to ask the question, why didn't you bring any samples? I mean, your name is Candy Samples. Why do you have any samples? I, I, I know, it's, I, I'm a tease. I'm a tease. <laughs> oh my but, I, I, but I tell you, I, but, but I, I, I cook a lot and, and I write about it in, in my songs. Cornbread in a cast iron skillet. It's one of my songs I'm recording on my new album called Bittersweet that will be out this spring or summer. Ooh. But I can't wait to get it. I want to download it. That will be wonderful. Bittersweet. Uh, Great name for candy sandwich. You'll be the first one sandwich. to know when, it, when it's really You better good. tell me. I want to know about it. Okay. Next, we have with us Miss Lois Whitman Hess. Now, Lois, in a previous episode, I mentioned that Lois attended the Consumer Electronics Show for the 52nd year in a row, probably the only person to have gone to 53, all 50, 53. 53, excuse me. 53. And it's called the CES Show, not the Consumer Electronics Show. I thought for the folks at home, I would start with it. Yeah, yeah. So Consumer Electronics, CES, 50, 53 in a row. And this year it was all digital because of the pandemic. So we all didn't go to Vegas. We all did it from our homes. But still, Lois was able to complain about the walking. So I don't understand. <laughs> that. But, <laughs> and uh, next we have with us Oliver Toe. Oliver was voted the wittiest guy in his high school class. Unfortunately, it was a Latin one class, only seven people in the class, so not so impressive. No, not at all. Not at all. Well, you know all. what they say, e pluribus unum. E, uh, e, absolutely. It's so less than Kylo, which means sun in the sky. I took Latin one. Okay, uh, and Harry Redlick is with us as well. Harry is an actor and a writer. And uh, you, I, you can tell Harry has a big heart, but don't worry. He's taking medication. It should be under control. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us, Harry. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, Steve. Well, love having you here, too. So now we've got our product. Let's take a look at our gadget right there. I'm going to go over the puppet stage and show us what it looks like. You can see it's got this button over here. It swings around like this. There's this little latch thing here that opens and closes something on it. It's in oh this beautiful God. teal blue. And you've got to be asking yourself, what the heck is that? And that's can why we, we have this show. Can we see the bottom part inside? This, yeah, there's the logo is there. So I put a little piece of tape there. But yeah, it looks like that. And the and top? the top of it looks in, like that. Inside? Has, yeah, that little. It's got mm. that in there. And it's got this handle over here. So there's a lot going on. It Can does be very specific. Yeah. Can you press the white handle? Sure. So what does it do? Oh, it didn't, it, but it, 
it moves that bottom tray up a little bit. Oh. Oh. That helps oh. you at all. <laughs> so now, have I given it away? I don't think so. But there it is. Okay. And now we're going to be going to, oh, it's, it's coming in now. We're going to go to look at our panel who are all, hmm, what is that? And Jefferson Graham, who, uh, of course, has been writing about tech products for a million years in USA a Today. Gazillion, a, gazillion a gazillion years, a million years, and a trillion years. These are all the things you have said about me today. Thank you very much, Steve. <laughs> it's been a long time. On well, as long as I can remember, he's been writing about USA Today. And all about tech. But these are all non-tech products, so it makes it more of a challenge for you. I didn't want to make it just too easy for you, so I, right. I feel very good that I've been able to stump you that you haven't recognized the product right off the bat. So now looking at this product, what questions do you have? What what questions do you have to help narrow well, it down? You know, one of my favorite places in the world to visit is Baskin Robbins and 31 Flavors. Ooh. And my local Baskin Ooh. Robbins is closed Ooh. right now due to the pandemic. And I just see this thing and I think ice cream, a new way of scooping up ice cream. And I think that Steve, you should have ice cream sundaes for us all today. What do you think? Mm. Yes. Uh, I think I should have ice cream sundaes. I think uh, Candy should bring cornbread. Uh, sadly, because of the Zoom has not brought that feature on, they do virtual backgrounds. They haven't done food sharing yet, but when they do, I'm all over it, and ice cream will be on the top of my list. And candy, we want that yeah. cornbread. I but all me. to answer your question, it is not um, ice cream related, and in fact, to give a hint to the rest of the panel, it's not food related. This product oh. is not for the kitchen. So. Take all of those guesses, put them in a drawer for next time. Mm -hmm. So now we move on to Miss Candy Samples. Okay. And what's your question? Okay. Well, it's not it's not in the kitchen, so I'm gonna adjust my question. Uh, okay. Is, is this a device that I might have uh, to help beautify me in 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 my bathroom? <laughs> no, you would not. I, I mean, in some levels, it has some slight beautiness to it beauty product quality to it but you wouldn't use it in your bathroom no okay. and it's not for fixing yourself up okay. from the beginning of the day okay okay but but we i think there's something there that's to work with but there's a Next. relation there's a cousin somewhere okay. there's a cousin to it okay. i i would say so i, I think there's a, a beauty ish le level to it okay lois whitman hess mm. oh boy um do both men and women use this product? Yes, absolutely. It's for both men and women. Um, I'd say equally, 50-50 can use the product. So good guess. Again, that helps narrow things down. Oliver Tull, um, what are I your consider thoughts? My, I consider myself pretty handy around the house. And uh, it looks, it, it's reminiscent, and I'm going to make sure I pronounce this correctly. It looks like a caulk gun. Oh, it does look like a caulk gun, but it is not a caulk gun, but that was an excellent guess. I hadn't thought of it, but you're right. It definitely has that vibe. But as we've talked about in previous episodes, I'm giving another big hint, just because I'm a nice guy. You wouldn't find this product in Home Depot. It's uh, not a Home Depot product, so. Well, I just wanted to make, make sure I pronounced that correctly I, so we don't demonetize the video. <laughs> right, right, right. I, yeah. I hear you. It's a yes. hawk gun, right? <laughs> Thank you. I think I said it as properly as I could as well. I, I, I know it's a challenge, and they really should rename one or the other because they're too yes. similar. Okay, <laughs> next, moving on to uh, Harry Redlick. What do you got, Harry? Well, what do you why think? does this show go in the gutter so quickly and easily? <laughs> <laughs> I used to play Lois, but I can't even play Lois. Oliver just <laughs> jumped. Oliver jumped right on the bandwagon. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Took it right. Well, to first of all, it's because I love Lois, and I want to be like Lois. I, I, I hope to grow it, grow up, and become Lois when I get older. <laughs> no, I ain't right. <laughs> no, no, but she, now she's hurt because she said you have to get older to be her. Oh so boy, she, he's gonna get. Like, yeah, no, you, I would, I would. I meant a year that older. Way. Yeah, Lois and I went there to high school go. together. <laughs> she was a senior, you were a junior. It was one of those yes. type of romances. I get it. Okay. okay. I hear I hear Greece trying to play in the back. And okay. Uh, and I was in kindergarten. But you no, were, I'm, that's right. Um so obviously 
there is something that goes in that chamber, right? There's something that goes in that chamber. I don't know exactly what it is, but I feel like if we figure out what goes into that chamber, then we will know what this is. So, absolutely. With, with that, <laughs> <laughs> what is so, so funny? So you're saying you're saying if we find out the answer, then we will know the answer. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I think that's very. Right. <laughs> so, no, I am going to concentrate on what goes into the chamber instead of. Um, this is what I'm saying, Oliver. How dare, <laughs> how dare you step into my segment? <laughs> it seems like we're going down a toilet again, but okay. Keep I feel like we're being washed right down. Okay, so okay. does the thing that goes into the chamber, is that something that I would find in my laundry room? No, you would not find that thing that goes in the chamber in your laundry room. Though I do agree with your supposition that if you can figure out what goes in that chamber, you know what this product does. So that is very good information from Harry. So with that information from Harry, we go on to Jefferson Graham, who can now take what he's learned from the other four panelists and then turn this really no. laser okay. beam so, on what this right. is. So we're, we're taking this into the kitchen. And we're putting a can of orange juice in it and then squeezing it out. Ooh. Uh, no. We no, said it doesn't have anything to do with food. It's not food related. And it's oh, that was a fabulous food. idea. Don't say, but the squeezing of something was very interesting. Ooh. But I would say it's, but again, emphasize not food related, not kitchen related, not laundry related. I believe we eliminated all those laundry categories. Burgers. Not laundry room. And that's because I know Lois always likes to go there. Not window related. She always seems to go window. So it's, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. Me? You, you are the, the window lady. Okay. okay, next we go to Miss Candy Samples, who did not bring a sample of cornbread. Um, <laughs> what, what, what question you got for us? Okay, so we know it's not the, it's not the laundry room, but would this uh, product be used we, we in that chamber, uh, soap. No, it's not soap related. Nope. Okay, so not okay. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. But could but, sort I, of I be think, could sort of be beauty. I think there's a, a, a case for it to be. You could make a case for that. Okay. I think. Okay. Uh, You're on. But okay. I would say get get yourself out of the bathroom. I mean, it's not okay. soap. It's not the bathroom. But okay, okay so that. Next, we go on to Miss Lois Whitman Hess, who will not say anything about a window. Uh, <laughs> what, what's your guess? Um, your your uh, question. Um, you, well, I mean, you gave us the task of figuring out what goes in a chamber. Correct. Um, and I'm thinking of like a rag or a washcloth, and you squeeze it, and all the juice comes out. <laughs> No, 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 I don't no. I like that Harry reaction. Well, the, the video yeah. got demonetized anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. The juice the of the rag. Uh, That's going to be my, my autobiography, The Juice of the Rag. <laughs> Listen, Harry, if you had a little bit more experience and you thought about it, you know exactly what I was saying. I love, oh my God. I, I love everything that comes out of your mouth. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, now, now I'm really scared. Okay, I don't know what we're saying. Okay, we're gonna have to move on to Oliver Toe. Please, it's not a juice. There's no juice coming out of rags. Not related. To okay. Uh, okay. That's just, that's awful because my new album is called The Juice Rag Blues. So. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would got you use this drag blue. <laughs> <laughs> would you use this at the beach? Oh, you would use this at oh. the beach. Oh, oh my God. Out of nowhere. Oh. Out of nowhere. Oh. Oh. He pulls out that one. I'm in shock. I'm in awe. And I'm my impressed. state school education came in handy. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, that's $10 of credit paid off big time. <laughs> Big time. We didn't call it college. We called it the 13th grade, but go right ahead. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm impressed. Whoa. Okay. Well, That's great. Know, 
I think we're darn close to knowing the answer to this one. Harry mm-hmm. might be able to. Well, you can't really shouldn't guess what it is, but you couldn't. You can make a question that almost guesses it. So, Harry, what's your what's your question? I got those juice rag blues. <laughs> those old juice rag blues. <laughs> and, um, I, I'm still looking at the thing, and uh, okay, at the beach, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm still kind of. Um, oh, I have to say, I'm still. Does it have to do with suntan lotion? Bing, 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 bing. Yes, it does. Okay, I think we shouldn't guess. I think we're pretty much there. So, I think I think Oliver should get a lot of points for this. Absolutely. I think Harry should get points. some points. All of them. So let me explain what this is. It is called My Cabana Boy, Ooh. which I think is a very cute name. I'm gonna take it off the puppet <laughs> stage, put it right over here. So what it does is you put the um, your spray um, tanning lotion. So this into this little device. Of course, you think I would have practiced using this, which would have been smarter. Hold on. There we go. Put it in here. Put it like this. Then you put it like this, and then you close the top on it. And then you can spray your back, you can spray other parts of you. It gives you a little extra extension for spraying. But to really see what it's like, you got to look at the video. And for it to be a real product, it has to have a video. So let's take a look at the video. Sunblock, so it's both a beauty thing to get a nice tan, but also it's I would give it a health point too because it's about protecting your back from the sun. Uh, Cabana Boy, My Cabana Boy. Uh, if you go to their site, which is My Cabana Boy, it's available at Walmart, a few other places. Uh, and um, once Candy, again, you learn about I, another product. I think that's another original song for Candy, My Cabana Boy. Yes, and I, I, I think that's a product tie-in. Y'all call me. <laughs> oh, my cabana boy i like that i like that my cabana between slit it and my, and cabana, my boy, cabana boy there's something there i, yeah. I, I want to hear that song i'm the, i'm the 21st century juliet prouse in commercial <laughs> you, you are you are i can see well it. i won't for that though because i had it i had that one yeah oh! <laughs> okay and again that's, that's like Something's going on there. Yes, it is. Well, you well, guys, once spray. again, you guys did an amazing job. You, you nailed it. Uh, it was kind of a combination group effort there. Uh, couldn't have been done without any one of you. You all added to it. Uh, again, I want to thank you. We'll be back next time with another mystery gadget where we'll be asking the question, what the heck is that? We'll find out next time. Again, if you like the show, please like, subscribe, add a comment, do all that. Tell your friends. And you folks, thank you very much. The panel, thanks so much. Stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.